I was going to start making a Woodbury clock. It's a cuckoo clock. A Woodbury is the is the the particular one I'm going to be making, and this video is for just to show some people wonder how in the heck do you make a oh a fretwork clock. Fretwork means fretwork means uh, that all the pieces are cut out like this on a scroll saw. And uh, this is just more or less a view for to show people that have never ever made and never done and never done scroll sawing and might want to even get into scroll sawing, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it passes the time, and we make kind of some neat things with it. So uh, actually, what I've done so far, I'm just cutting out some of the pieces, like like this and like that, and all these. All these little pieces, they all, they're, they're all gonna fit together into the clock eventually. Even uh, all these, these are these bigger pieces. They're all parts, all parts of the clock. That's that's gonna be, that's gonna be the, the roof like that. And uh, yeah, there's just all kinds of pieces, and uh, they come. Uh, you buy the pattern. It's just it's a big pattern. Lots of pages. You photocopy it all. And uh, I'm gonna just grab it. Oh well, here's a few pieces over here. Here's a here's a few pieces I haven't cut out yet. Right. There's another one. There's another one. And uh, I put the blue. Uh, that blue. Uh, masking tape, painter's tape, I put that on and then I glue the pattern on top of that with uh, spray adhesive. Uh, the idea of the blue painter's tape is that it just peels all off easy. Other than that you've got to put uh, 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 thinners on and, and, and peel it off and you sometimes uh, wind up with a gooey surface underneath. Uh, so this way you just peel the tape off and uh, it all comes off and there's of course there's always holes uh, well I got a piece over on the scroll saw let's uh, see if I can grab it yeah there's there's another piece of it I, I have yet to cut and uh, as you notice we got holes drilled all through every piece that has to be cut out and there's the holes on the back so uh, I'm gonna move this tripod over. I'm on actually on selfie mode in my uh, uh, on my tablet uh, taking this picture, and it's on a tripod. So I'm gonna move the tripod over. See if I can uh, uh, get it showing onto the scroll saw and how we cut out these pieces. Now, there's, just give me a minute here and we'll see if we can get it actually down onto the scroll saw. Hmm, I'm not doing so good there, am I? There, maybe I gotta go back a little bit. Uh, yeah, I guess, let's turn this around a little bit. Maybe tilt this down a bit. Just bear with me here while I get this thing adjusted. Oh, that might show it. I'm hoping it will. Okay, so what we do, as I, as I showed before, we've got the pattern on, we've got the holes drilled, and we, uh, we feed the a blade through. A hole. Like that, and we'll fasten it in underneath. I would usually use a dust mask, but for this, uh, I uh, I sound funny through a dust mask, so we'll do it without this thing.
Okay, whoops, I gotta adjust the arm on my saw, it's getting a little loose. So there's, there's one piece I cut out. Just like that, that's, that's the waste part. And you just carry on and on and on and on until they're all done. Uh, we'll do one more, we're not gonna do a whole bunch here because that could get really boring just watching me cut a whole bunch of pieces out. But it doesn't take very long to, uh, to cut out a, a pattern like this. Get this blade in here properly at the bottom. There we go. It's done. Just as easy as that. There's a couple of pieces at the back side. So, uh, no use going further uh, with this right now. I'm uh, uh, as I start assembling the parts. Maybe I'll, I'll just add on to this video. <laughs> 